Well, hello there, and uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is Paul from Woodchip Woodworking, and I thought I would do a very simple uh, video today for a bottle stopper. Uh, found this when I was looking for something, so I thought I would do a little bottle stopper. Um, <clears throat> that being said, this is video number five, I believe, and uh, still working on trying to upload some of the other ones. Uh, trying to figure out the software for the edit edit editing. So that being said, uh, we're going to have a few more videos coming. It's just a matter of figuring out the editing on uh, the videos I've got made up. Uh, but that, let's just do a simple project. This is a project that uh, uh, if you have a small lathe, you'd be able to do. Um, you know, these little bottle stoppers are pretty easy to do and they're kind of fun to do. Uh, so let's just get started and uh, see what we got. So I got a small little, uh, I think it's a three inch blank. This is a piece of uh, Spectaply or laminated plywood. So it ought to kind of make some interesting figures. So what I'm going to do is I am going to find the center. And uh, once I find the center, then we'll put it on the lathe. We'll start out between centers, uh, put a little spigot on it, and then um, we'll turn it around and uh, drill a hole uh, for, the, uh, <clears throat> for the little piece here that goes in there. Drill that hole. I think it's uh, 3 8 um, We'll do that, and then uh, we'll go from there. Shape it and do all the other good stuff. So I'm going to adjust my camera so don't run off. Hopefully you'll be able to see better. Oh, not too shabby. So as you can see, I'm going to put this between centers and we'll turn that. So I've got my center marks there. Um, put it right there. <clears throat> Run this end up. And all I want to do for starters is put a... Uh, Spigot on the end here. Um, eh, not exactly centered for whatever reason. That's better. Again, this is a spectra ply, so this will be kind of fibrous if you want to call it that. So, and uh, got my face shield here. Um, we'll put that on and we'll go at it. So, first thing I want to do is I want to kind of make it a little bit round, and uh, then we'll put a spigot on there. So, <clears throat> and I'm going to use my skew again. I've got a one inch skew, and uh, I'm just round on it real quick, get it round. And go the other way. Like I said, this is an easy project. Uh, you don't need a, a big lathe for this. A small, small lathe, pen lathe will work to doing that. <clears throat> so it's an easy like I said, it's an easy project. Um, as you can see, got a little bit of more rounding to do, but we're going to put a tenon on it, turn it around first. <clears throat> so I got my sh smaller skew, and I'm going to put a tenon on the end here so I can hold it. And I'm just going to straighten that up. What I'm doing is I'm just going to set it up there. I'm going to lift my handle, set a simple tenon. Like that. Knock the corner off. Let's see where we're at. Let's see how close we are. That looks good. All right. So take that around, pop that out. We got to get rid of our drive here. So I'm going to knock my drive out. And I'm going to put my 
chuck on. I got my small chuck here. I'm going to put this on. And put this in here. Now, you'll notice that uh, I'm going to run my tailstock up um, just for a little added extra support. Plus, it also center it. And then I'll tighten this. Checking both sides. There we are. And move my tool rest up. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to drill my hole for that. So I'm going to knock my tailstock out, my dry, uh, my uh, tailstock out the drive or the center drive. Take that out. And I got me a chuck or key for my thing here, for my drill bit, and I, I always take and you'll see there's numbers on your quill. I run it back to one inch. I start with one inch, put that in there. The other thing I do is I'll drill a small pilot hole. Helps the bit, keeps it from wandering. So I'll drill me a small pilot hole and I'm going to go about a half inch. So this is about a half inch long. So I want to go about a half inch deep. That's where the numbers on your quill will come in handy. So when you push it up like that, I'm starting at one. So I'll go to one and a half. And I'm going to run yeah, somewhere about 300 RPMs. <clears throat> and I just nice and easy. Quarter inch, half inch. Back it down to my one inch mark. Pull my tail stock out of the way and switch bits. So, got the three eighths bit here. So, knock this back. All right, and I'll do the same thing, half inch, running about 300 RPMs, just go nice and slow, and then it'll cut, and you can use Forstner bits, I just happen to have this one handy, so the twist bits work just as well. So now I'm done with my drill. So I'm going to take that back out. So I'll knock that out. And I'm going to put my tailstock back in. And I'm going to put the cone on. Because what I want to do with the cone, I want to go into the hole. So I'm going to put my cone back on. And run that up. And I'm going to give me some room here, so I'm going to run this out just a little bit. And there, I'm just not just snug. That's all I'm doing. Oh, forgot one thing. I want to mark this so that uh, I have a reference point of how big this is here. So I stick it in my hole, and I just take and draw a circle around this. Kind of like that. Draw it around there. So I just stuck it in there and drew a circle around it. <clears throat> now I'll run this into there. And the other thing I want to do first before I put this in there is well, I can do that after a bit. That's no big deal. Um, get it up in there. And I want to turn this down. I'm going to put just a kind of a round ball on top, make it a simple one. Um, now is the time to shape it. But I got to turn this down to that diameter that I have on this, what I drew there a second ago. And then I'll shape this and go from there. So here we go. This is the fun part. So I'm just going to lower my tool rest just a hair. Um, so I'll go through here.
And let's see. I'll take this back here. This is your own personal preference of how you want to make it, shape it. You know, this is not the end of the world when you do this. Let's make it about, probably about that tall. I'm saving a little bit of this here. I'm going to make a, uh, a uh, jam check to turn it around a little bit. smaller one here. You see there I'm doing a sheer scrape cut. This helps clean up the edges. This just a hair smaller. Let's actually put a bead right there. That just kind of a good idea. A little bit more decorative. Yeah. Clean this up and then we'll do some sanding. Like I said, this is an easy project. Yeah. Not bad. <clears throat> so, see what we look like. Okay, I got a little bit of a where the wood came apart. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you one second here. <clears throat> Take a little CA glue and we'll fill that up. And uh, this is uh, brown CA glue. Um, and just put a little, fill that up. Hands getting empty. Don't take much. I think that's got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it for that one. So.
All right. So now let that dry for a split second. Now I'm going to clean that up. Other than that, it looks pretty good. I want to go a little bit deeper than that, but we'll clean up the end of it here. So I'm going to trim that up, clean that up. good so we'll do a little bit of sanding on that clean that up there and then we'll clean up this end part it off so next thing I want to do real quick is I want to pull this off so I want to clean up this edge here a little bit so I'll turn this around take my spindle gouge and I want to concave this a little bit so all I want to do is touch it, clean it up. See if I get rid of all my marks. Oh yeah, we're in good shape. Good shape, good shape. So at this point, I'm gonna do a little sanding and I won't bore you with that. So I'll be right back in a few seconds. All right, welcome back. We're just finishing up a little bit of sanding here I've got going on. Uh, remember one thing you wanna do is uh, when you're sanding, wear your dust mask, um, you know, keep this dust out of your lungs um, always think about safety so looks pretty good I'd say we're in good shape okay so what I don't want to do now and I'm actually thinking I might burn a couple marks in there but I want to run my tail stock up and I need to part it off so I'm gonna grab my burner again this is just a guitar string I'm going to put it right on that edge, crank it all the way up, faster, help out. Expect the fly doesn't burn really easily, but it does give it kind of a interesting mark. There it goes. Put one more time on that one. All right. So. All right. So that takes care of that. Now, everything did the ends. Everything's good. So let's go ahead and let's part this puppy off. So what I need to do is get my parting tool. And... Uh, I need to lower my tool rest. What I'm going to do is cut this off because I'm going to save that blank there, that little bit. So I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to part this off. Come straight in and give myself a little bit of room here. Let's see it break free right there okay so now there is basically our bottle stopper but I got to finish up that end of it but what I want to do is mount this onto there so I'm gonna take my set of calipers 
and measure my hole, which I believe is 3 eighths. Okay, so I got it set. And basically all I want to do is create a little spigot right there. So grab my face shield, put it back on, and I'm just going to turn this off so I get a little bit of a thing in there. So. Just creating a jam check is all I'm doing here. Doesn't have to be very big. Just enough to hold it in place. That's all I'm looking for. Alright, so now I'm going to get it to the right size. Okay. So... Let's get her to fit the right size here. Let's give it just a little bit more room here. Let's see how close we are. We're not there yet, but we're getting close. So let me get my tool rest just a hair closer. Get it up in there. All right. I just want to take a little bit off. I said I want to sneak up on it. Sneak up on it till it fits. Because the tighter it gets, the fits, the better off we are. So I just want to sneak up on it. Real close. Okay, one more shot, and I think we'll have her. So. And that should take what I need, what I need right there. Yeah, hear it squeaking? That's about what we want. Yeah, nice and tight. That's what we want right there. Now I'm going to get rid of my cone here because uh, I need that point to go down in there so I can figure out where my center mark is. So I run that up and you'll see a little point goes in and I'm going to give myself some room here. So I'm going to extend this out. Just going to be enough to hold it in place. That's all we're looking for. Okay, and all I want to do is round this edge off to there, and we're in good shape. So here we go. Do a little light sanding on that and uh, be in good shape. So put her in reverse and let's do it.
Now I'm going to decorate the end just a hair. So it gives a little bit of character to it. And we will be done. Like I said, this is a short little video. Easy to do. Um, fun to do. Um, there's different types of bottle stoppers out there. I've got some that are got the corkscrew in it that I'm going to do eventually. Um, this just happened to be a, just a simple one. I thought it would be a fun project to do. Um, so I thought it would be a quick one. Um, you know, thought maybe it made me like a 30 minute video. I'm hoping. But while I'm doing this, I want to remind you to like, like my videos, share the videos, and don't forget to subscribe because that's how I I will get better at this and uh, keep doing different videos. And if you got comments, please leave them in the comment section so I see them. You know, let me know that you subscribed. Um, you know, I like seeing who's who's subscribing, who's seeing my videos, and just for giggles, uh, where you're from, you know, um, seeing how far out I reach. Um, I was talking to my neighbor before about this, and uh, I actually, uh, you know, as over the years, I've turned bowls and different things, and uh, I actually have bowls in uh, other countries now, uh, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> Um, so, but, uh, feel free to give me a like and let me know what your thoughts are and go from there. I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little mark. I hope this works. I haven't done it on Spectre Ply before. Um, this is just a, uh, uh, a, uh, Sorby, uh, texturing tool. I just want to see if I can do it on this. Let's see what happens real quick. I'm hoping this will work. Well, yeah, not bad. A little bit of texture to it. So, um, but there again, feel free to like and subscribe and uh, we'll go from there. Um, now let's see if the trick's going to be getting this off. There it comes. So there's our bottle stopper. I'll glue that into there like that after I finish it, and I'll put a coat of polyurethane on it, but that's what it looks like uh, right there. Do a little texturing on the top. That'll show up real good when I polyurethane it, but I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, as I said, and uh, share the videos with others. Uh, help me uh, get my channel to grow and uh you know comment and if you think of ideas or something you'd like to to see me do uh please you know give me some suggestions uh you know otherwise i just keep doing things that i enjoy doing and uh, you know eventually i'm going to do a couple hollow forms so that's coming up too as well so have fun and uh remember make your own man glitter instead of buying it thank you have a good day bye